my lord forgive me for being so vain i don't get why not my thing stay away from me thanks hello mr carlos this is anna and in today's video i'm gonna be tear ranking some fan fiction tropes I don't know if you know me, I don't know if you know this channel already, but I'm a little bit obsessed with fan fiction. So yeah, this is my way of having fun. I hope you have to. So let's do this. What we have here is five categories. In the middle, I put you're sweet. I don't love you, I don't hate you, you're just, you're sweet. Then we have you've always been there for me, it's something that I'm comfortable reading. I'd die for you, I'd rather not be friends with you, and stay away from me, thanks. So let's see what this game brings to us. Ooh, first one, already controversial, ABO. To be completely honest, I have never really tried reading ABO, but the concept of it kind of nerves me a bit, so I'm gonna say stay away from me, thanks. Amnesia effects. It's, it's really, really cute. I love it. So I'm gonna put Amnesia in your suite. Then we have Ains, someone suffering. So major character deaths and things like that. I personally love it. I'm gonna say you've always been there for me. Arranged marriage. The entire plot of Bridgerton, if you haven't watched that show. I actually have a really huge problem with that. I just cannot wrap my head around the concept of falling in love with someone you were first into marrying to. I have read some really good ones, but it's not my go-to thing. So I'm, I'm gonna say I'd rather not be friends with you. And we have baby fic. This is really, really common on the Sherlock fandom. I don't know why. It's just a thing that Sherlock Holmes and John Watson raise kids together. I really like it. I'm gonna say you've always been there for me. Then we have sharing a bed. You know this one? We all know this one. You have to stay the night locked in a house during a snowstorm. Actually, that's a whole lot of plot, but anyway. And you just have one bed and you have to share it. A classic. I would die for you. I would like tomorrow, today, and for the rest of my life. I would die for you. Then we have bang or die. I'm gonna say stay away from me, thanks, because um, asexual lack of interest. Next, body swap. Body swap is actually so Funny. I love it so much. I'm gonna go with you've always been there for me. I don't know what it is about this one that people are so obsessed about. I don't really like coffee shops all that much. I don't really like coffee in the first place. So maybe that's why there is a disconnect. Really popular. I think it's sweet. College AU. And this one, you, like, you, you give me hope in life. I like you. Then we have crack fix. I like to be happy while reading fan fiction, but I don't like it when everything's just for love. Crossover. I actually hate. No, I rather not be friends with them because there is one kind of crossover that I always read, and that is the Wizarding World. Just take your favorite characters from any fictional universe and put them in Hogwarts. And that works. Rather not be friends with you, except you're a wizard. Then we have dog fix. And I really have a problem with this one. I don't like reading fan fiction for serious, serious, serious stuff. Stay away from me. Major character death. Make you beautiful, make you poetic. You've always been there for me. Cannot die virgins. I have nothing against you. I'm gonna say you're sweet. I have to get up for this one. Lovers. I fucking love this shit. I I thrive for this shit. This is this is my my drug. Give me some dreary, give me some shuriati, give me some fights. I just want me some fights. I would die for you, and I already did so many times. Love me some established relationship as well. I'm gonna say you're sweet. Fairy tale Aeos. I don't really like you. Fake relationships, yep, 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 yep. Fix it. Ah, I don't know if I talked about this with you guys before, but I, I dropped off college, 
let's start there. But before I did that, I was writing my final dissertation on fix it fix. So this this really has such a special place. It made my life miserable as well. Like I was so freaking stressed because of this, but I would still die for you. I think it's one of the most amazing movements that fandom can provide. Then we have Fluff. You, you're like the definition of sweet. Friends to lovers, I also love it. Side by side with enemies to lovers for me. And I'm going to say enemies to lovers first and then friends to lovers and then sharing a bat and then fix it. Then we have Gen Fix, which I... Do I know what this is? High school AU. Love it so much. Hotel for warm. Oh, when you're again locked in a house or somewhere and you're in the middle of a snowstorm and you're cold as hell, but you have someone else by your side. Most of the times it's your enemy or someone you don't really want to see yourself hugging too closely. But then it's the only way you can survive together because you need warmth and you don't have a single fire around you so after that you have sex what exactly is a humor fic um i'm gonna say you're sweet but i don't i don't actually know you in vino veritas what the fuck is this i'd rather not be friends with you i guess first kiss first kiss fics are always so sweet i'm gonna say you've always been there for me Magic AU, give me some Harry Potter shit. Yes, I would die for you. Miscommunication makes me nervous. It makes me stressed, but at the same time, I kind of like it. Missing scenes. Oh, I know what this is. Um, so when you, you have like a show and you want to know what happened between two specific scenes, you have these kind of facts. Filling in the blanks. I'm gonna say you're sweet. Mutual pining is actually God. I would die. Pregnancy fix can be quite interesting. PWP, which for those of you guys who don't know, is basically they have sex with no context whatsoever, just for the sake of sex. I wanted to say that I'd rather not be friends with them, but that would be lying. Royalty AU, it's amazing, you're sweet, I really, really like you. Give it to me, honey, give it to me, slow burn. Yes, 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 yes. Soulmate, I don't get why people are so prejudiced against soulmate fanfiction tropes. They can be so nice and so cute, like you have that one with the the strings like the golden string that attaches you to someone in the world you're born with the name of the person who's supposed to be with you for the rest of your life and then you're always wondering when you're gonna meet them but most of the times you've already met them but the name that is tattooed on your skin is usually their second name and you just don't know of it really sweet and you've always been there for me and i love you so much time loops I guess I am a fan of time loops when it comes to movies and like television shows. Love me some Doctor Who, love me some Prince of Azkaban, but I don't really read it a lot, so I'm gonna say you're just sweet. Love triangles, not my thing, stay away from me, thanks. Unhappy ending, so this one, this is a complicated one. The thing with unhappy endings is that usually they crush your soul. But that's the thing that makes them memorable. Some of my favorite fan fictions actually had some pretty sad endings. I'm gonna say you're sweet. Like, I don't want you to be around all the time, but you're sweet. Now, last but not least, we have unrequited love what kind of unrequited are we talking about like does the person think her love is unrequited or is it actually because if it is and then you don't have a happy ending i don't want to see that person just suffering if you're gonna give me like an unhappy ending give me some happiness beforehand 
then uh, nope, I'd rather not be friends with you. That was me to ranking fanfiction tropes. What do you guys think of my ranking? Do you agree with it? Do you hate it? Tell me. I would be really happy to know. Guys, I'm loving my hair today. Look how curly it is. Doesn't it seem like I'm one of those actresses in, in British and just... My lord, forgive me for being so vain. Guys, I love you all. So as usual, if you like my content and if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up and a comment down below and subscribe to the channel and activate the notifications bell. I missed saying this. Bye guys, I'll see you in my next video.